the calculation on the topic rotational dynamics of rigid bodies. Okay? Now, for you to uh, solve any question on this topic, write down the formulas you need. Torque equals to our torque gave us I W over T, or it gave us I alpha, where the alpha is the angular acceleration, and it also gave us I bracket W2 minus W1 all over T. That is rate of change of angular velocity, that is the torque. Then, I times this rate of change of angular velocity, you get your torque. Then, you write also for angular momentum. You say angular momentum equals to IWO. Then, you, saw, or you also write for the one of power. Power, you say that power ohm is torque times theta over t, where the t is your period and is equal to torque. Plus 
squared the four to the fourth one. So when you use your calculator and press it, if you press it in your calculator and compute all, you will be having four kilogram meter square. So the unit of moment of inertia is kilogram meter square from the formula m r square. M mass of ma, m means mass and the unit is kilogram. R means radius and the unit is meter. Then you put power of two. Okay? Then we go to the, the next question under it. Then he said if the kinetic energy of the body is under kg, you say Ke is equal to 100 joules. They say calculate this angular velocity and this angular momentum. So they gave us kinetic energy. What kinetic energy did they give us? That kinetic energy will be called kinetic energy of rotation. Why? It's because they make mention of rotation from axis of rotation, meaning they are talking about rotational dynamics of rigid body. So the kinetic energy will not be the one of translational or linear. It will be the one of rotation. Then you say kinetic energy equal to this, and we got our I to be four kilogram meter square, right? Then we want to get our angular velocity. You look at the formula for kinetic energy of rotation. Look for the one that has kinetic energy, moment of inertia, and angular velocity. You will be having this to work out. Then you now say, I use kinetic energy, Ke, equals to 1 over 2 I W square. What is our Ke? 100. Equals to 1 over 2. What is my I? 4. That's what is my W. That is what I'm looking for. Then this time this will give me 200 R over 4 equal to W square. This year, 50. Then I say W will be equal to square root of 50. Then you open your calculator again and you press square root of 50. Square root of 50. That will be giving you 7.07. .07. Now what is the uh, unit of uh, angular velocity? You write rad per second. That is the SI unit of angular velocity. Then the next one says, calculate its angular momentum. Then you say, what is the formula for angular momentum? Angular momentum is IWO. You say angular momentum W equals to IWO. What is our I4 times, what is our W7.07? Then we multiply the two. That will be giving us 4 times 7.07. .07. That will be giving us 28.28. What is the unit of angular uh, momentum? What unit of I You say kilogram meter square? What is the unit of W? You say rad. Per second. So this can serve as the unit of the L. So you, you, you must have unit to the answer you, to the question you solve. Okay, the question number two said, let's solve the question number two. Question number two said, a body of mass 0.5 kg rotated about this axis. We say our mass is equal to 0.5 kg. Then, what we now do is I say, rotate about this as In the moment of inertia of the body is 32, we say our I equal to 32 kilogram meter square. Uh -huh. Calculate the distance of separation of the body. That means we have to get the radius of gyration. We say square root of I over M. That will be giving us what is our I? 32. What is our M? 0.5. 32 over 0.5 will be giving you 64. Square root of 64 will be equal to 8. Then what is the unit of radius of gyration? 8 meters. Okay? That is our answer. Then we go to the next question that says question number 3. A gram of phone 
records, a gram of phone records starts from rest. A gram of phone records starts from rest. That tells us that the initial angular velocity is equal to zero because it started from rest. And at 10, 120 revolution per minute, we say our final, our final uh, angular velocity was 120 rest per minute. Then they say in two seconds, our time is equal to two seconds. Then what is the magnitude of the torque acting on the gramophone if I want to 80 kilograms? I want to 80 kilogram meter square. They say we should get the magnitude of the torque. Remember the formula for torque, I bracket W2 minus W1 all over C. We now say our torque is equal to I bracket W1 minus W, W2 minus W1 all over T. What is our W2? 120. What is our W1? 0. All over T. So we put it. Then that gives us 80 bracket 120 minus 0 all over. Now, do you notice that? Do you notice that this are uh, W2 is in revolution per minute. We want it to be in revolution per seconds. Why? Because the time given to us is in seconds. Okay? How do we convert revolution per minute to revolution per second? You write 120 bracket 1 ref per 1 minute. I am changing you to revolution per second. Then you look for what is the relationship between minutes and seconds. You say 60 seconds make one minute. It means that here I will remove it and put 60. I say 120 bracket 1 ref all over 60. 60 seconds to ref per seconds. Okay? I've gotten it in revolution per second, this we cancel this, this we cancel this to give you two. Therefore, 120 refs per minute is equal to 2 refs per second. Okay? Now, what is the, what are we going to do now? What you do now is that that is what we use and put here. And after putting it, the answer will be refs per second. Now we we'll solve. 2 reps per second is what we got. We now say 80 bracket 2 minus 0. 2 reps per second minus 0 all over 2. Okay? That will be giving us uh, 2 here. 2 minus 0, 0. 2 here, 1. 2 here, 1. That will be giving us 80. 80. 80 kilogram unit of I kilogram meter square unit of uh, this revolution then per second square. That is the unit of torque. Another unit of torque is I have it as 80 newton meter. 80 newton meter. But it's preferable you leave it at this. What if they say that they want the answer to be in kilogram meter square rad per second square? If they want the answer to be in 80 in kilogram meter square rad per second square, what do you do? Convert one rest to rad. What you'll be having will be since 2 pi rad equal to 1 ref. It means I will remove this ref and put 2 pi rad there. When I do so, what I will be having is 80 times 2 pi, then kilogram meter square rad per second squared. Okay? 80 times 2 pi will give me 80 times 2 pi. 
That will be giving me 502.72. That is a kilogram meter square rad per second square. Okay? So that is it. That is the unit of the talk we talk about. Okay? So when they ask you to get or say I bracket W2 minus W1 all over T, then your W2 is 120 rep per minute. Try to convert it to revolution per second because your time is in seconds. So what you'll be having is to revolution per second, you'll be having 120, 120 times rest all over 60, 60 seconds. So that will be giving you two reps when you divide. Two reps per second. So it will give you two reps per second. Then you carry it, you say that the denominator is already in seconds because the time is in seconds. You put it here 2 minus 0, 2, all over time. And your time is 2. 2 divide 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 divide 2, 1. To give you 80 kilogram meter square rest per second square. And if you want the answer to be in kilogram meter square rad per second square, you say, okay, I have to convert rest to rad. So when I convert rest to rad, 1 rest is equal to 2 pi rad. I'll use 2 pi rad and replace this and multiply it to give me 502.72. Then I'll put the unit of my I kilogram meter square. Then I'll put the unit of uh, uh, my, my angular acceleration, it will give me rad per second squared. Okay? That is my answer. This answer can also be packaged as 502.72 Newton meter because this is another unit of torque. Okay? That is the answer to question number three. Please watch the next video to see more questions on this topic. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as you watch the next video.